you've probably all heard of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. And uh, so what used to be a very mechanical picture of the universe in classical mechanics has become smeared out because of this uncertainty principle. The physical representation of the system or the representation of the physical aspects of the system by quantum mechanics, they have a, a wave function that represents the brain, for example. It's a smeared out thing. All these different classical probabilities or possibilities are uh, all there on an equal footing. Now, we know that, um, um, uh, for example, then, uh, if I'm about to say something, there'll be a lot of different possibilities of what I might say. And then the way quantum mechanics works, there has to be this mysterious thing called the collapse of the wave function or the reduction of the wave function. And what happens is this big smear of possibilities or potentialities suddenly gets reduced to something um, understandable. And that's essentially the point. Uh, this reduction is always to something that is associated with an increase in knowledge. So before there can be an increase of knowledge, there has to be a process that occurs where, and this is the process that's not understood, but uh, it has to be, it's postulated in quantum mechanics, there has to be this decision as to what the, what question is going to be asked? What new knowledge am I going to be able to gain? And uh, so the, um, the, this is the collapse of the wave function that you're talking about. And uh, uh, that's the point that uh, is something very new and different about quantum mechanics. And uh, it opens the door because of the fact that there is the possibility of this, uh, I say, each collapse is preceded by a human action that is supposed to define a possible increment of knowledge, a new increase in knowledge. It's, these collapses are associated with human knowledge, and before you know what the collapse can be, before there can be a collapse, there has to be a, uh, an action on the part of the person who's going to have the experience that defines what the new increment of knowledge is going to be. The wave function is a, is a mechanical, mathematical thing that in itself doesn't have meaning or knowledge. And uh, the, the act of the human being is in effect to say, there, I want to know something, and this is, he wants to know something meaningful. So he want, to have it to be knowledge it somehow has to be meaningful to the person. So you're getting this injection somehow from, we don't know exactly where, but in quantum mechanics, it's got to be there. There's, this question has got to be posed. And um, uh, once you say that the question is posed, once you just follow the rules of quantum mechanics, then you can understand how this thing from the outside is able to actually control your behavior and your behavior then is going to control how your brain evolves and develops, and you're going to change your brain wiring. That's what Jeff is talking about repeatedly.